I just got this in um, oh, the other day. So I've got that in. And then the one I had previous to that was uh, Syed Hussein Nasser's uh, study Quran. So, oh, that's was, so that's the one I was reading prior to that. Um, but I've been told. I narrow down your search for you. <laughs> you can, oh, can you? You said? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I think of course. So. By all means. Because you know when you're trying to investigate Islam, seek Islam, test Islam, sure. is Islam yeah. true? It's, yeah. Islam could be an ocean. You, you can end up here, there, everywhere. Of course. Now, me, I like to reduce things to the common basic denominator. So if I speak with Christians, yeah. I reduce yeah. it to the basic denominator, which is obviously the reliability of the New Testament. Yeah. If I speak to atheists, I reduce them to their presuppositions of nihilism and, uh, and yeah. of determinism, which they right. don't even, atheists don't even realize. They don't even realize they're, 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 they're that's got to be their position. It has to be. Yeah, it's an undeniable reality. Yep. Well, if you're an atheist, you can't mock religious people because you don't believe it's their choice. Yeah, it's, just right. like, it's just like madness. Right. So anyway, yeah. so, and like science doesn't have the, the, the tools to establish what's true today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow it could be refuted by the same mm -hmm. philosophy. Mm -hmm. So you can't even be sure about what yeah. you believe today. I was say, how can you even trust your observations if you believe? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. So anyway, going back to what was it? Right, yeah. So let me produce Islam for you. Okay. It's very, very simple formula. Mm -hmm. You know what we have to believe as Muslims, yeah? There's two things. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first thing is there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. Do you believe that? Yes. Do you believe Allah is um, who we say it is? That he is the God of Abraham and such? Or do you think it's like at the moment, are you still a bit? Hesitant? No, no. I, I no, I, I think that I'm I'm pretty firmly in that in that camp already. Um, that it's oh. the same God that spoke through the prophets. Yeah. Yeah. Can, um, can I solidify it though, if you don't mind? No, of course. Yeah, let's that's what I mean. That's what I like that's what really the quest is, is to gain certainty. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm out. I'm, I'm going to just give me one second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take your time, brother. Take your time. I'm just trying to see if I've got the video here. Okay. Um, might have. Um, did I download it is the question. I have to just go here. I have to be careful because last time I doxed my missus. <laughs> oh, that's okay. No, I wouldn't want you to do anything. I, I shared a video that I'd sent her and it, oh. it basically um, it, it showed like all pictures of her and stuff. Mm, oh, my no. God. I totally anyway, understand. Just give me one second. All right, here, here, here's what I'm looking for. I think I think I should be okay. All right, one second, one second. Yeah, yeah, this should be okay. Just make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, just give me one second. I just want to share something with you. Okay. Um, because I, because even though you said it, I just want you to be reinforced with it as well. Of course. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you know, just just to just to pepper it a little bit more, because I've I've done a little bit of research um, into the history of like primitive monotheism, and I do I have come to pretty firmly believe that that is the primordial religion of man. Um, I've kind of rejected okay. the whole notion of like animism and polytheism actually being more ancient. Um, it seems to me the evidence is highly slanted into the monotheistic camp, um, at least a henotheistic camp with a high god. But anyway, right, let me play this for you. you sure. Ready? Mm -hmm. Just let me make sure that it's going to play the sound. It should do. Okay. I believe in Allah. Would you care to mention anything? At yeah, I, when, when I did before, I'll do now also. Uh, oh. Allah is taken from the name from Elika. Elika, which is, we use that word all the time. We have the same God as the Arabs. We believe in the same God, in one God. So it's a paradox. See, the Christians believe in the... Uh, Trinity, the, you know, the, the whatever that's supposed to mean. <laughs> but it's a, part of it is their their God, who's a JC we call him. But uh, <laughs> so that's uh, not our belief at all. We we're not allowed to believe in things like that, mm -hmm. and we're in better terms with the Christians generally than with the Arabs, generally speaking. But we have in common we believe in the same God. Uh, mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, speaking once about Moshe Feinstein, the greatest rabbi of our generation, he said, Allah, that's the Arab, Arab's God, the same God that we have. He wasn't afraid to talk about it. They have the same God. But Allah means God, the Alokah, that we say, and uh, they believe in the one God who created the world. Was there an event that made the Muslims break away and change the name of God to whatever? Didn't change the name of God. It's a, 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 they didn't break away from any. Why did they break away? They, they 
they come from the children of Abraham, of Abraham and Shmuel. Yeah. We come from Yitzchak, and they come from Yishmael. Mm -hmm. Do you matter? The question was a Christian trouble causing. Uh, oh. and, and, and the Jew just put him in his place. Yeah. He says, Allah is the same man or God. It's so yeah. He was trying, he was like a Zionist trying to rabble rouse or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, saying, though, well, did the Muslims change the name of God? And he's like, that kind of it didn't change nothing. Did you just hear me? And yeah. you know what he said, that, that rabbi? He said, mm -hmm. the, the greatest rabbi of this generation mm -hmm. said that the God of the Arabs, Allah, is our God. Yeah. Yeah. So we have no dispute there, then, which is, mm -hmm. I, I hope you, that just blocks that in. No, that does. That's a, that's, that's a, a wonderful sentiment. Do you think that that's kind of, does that reflect um, like a, a majority opinion, or do you think that that's kind of a, a singular? Well, a majority, no, 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 that's the majority opinion. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I just I don't I don't have a lot of the, conversation with they Jews. They basically at all, believe so. they basically believe that mm -hmm. the, like you just said, the Arabs are from Ishmael. Yeah, I, I'm, the, I've the, the, gathered the that. The Jews or the Israelites are from Ishmael, uh, from mm -hmm. Isaac, mm -hmm. and th this is it. You know, even the time of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu they recognized who he was. Yeah. There were people waiting for this Arabian prophet in Medina. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it, 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 it's not like just something like modern thing. It's, mm -hmm. the, it's the Christians who have been the odd one out the whole time. <laughs> They're the ones who turn God into three in one and this and that and mm -hmm. change this idea of, um, you know, repentance to blood mm -hmm. sacrifice. Because sure. although there's a blood sacrifice in Leviticus, it's for a different reason. It's yeah, for yeah. unintentional sin. Intentional right, right. sin it's is the expiation to the goats and uh, stuff like that to animal sacrifice. No, no, but the reason for it, the reason for it, you is know, I know, have a sin saying... mm -hmm. you might have committed that you didn't know you committed. Yeah, yeah, where you know, so cover cover the basis for the year if you like. Sure, sure, sure. And and if you read like the book of Ezekiel, forgiveness is uh, when the wicked man and a wicked man is somebody who's intentionally bad. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, so God in the in the in the uh, Ezekiel is saying if the wicked man, the intentionally bad man turns from his wickedness yeah which is repentance sure of course and keeps my statutes mm -hmm. his wickedness won't be reminded of it, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is just repentance just yeah agreed. turning away from the things that are bad and mm -hmm. turning towards the things that are good mm -hmm. god will forgive you yeah sure, it, sure. It, 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 it ain't rocket science anyway let's yeah go. no no i totally i totally agree with that i have a massive qualm with uh with the predominantly pr Protestant theology, which is the whole like once saved, always saved, that you can just be this wicked person and Jesus punches this golden ticket for you in heaven. I think that that's like one of the most destructive ideologies that it a society can believe in. It doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't, number, number one, it doesn't make any sense. I just think it's societally co corrosive. I think to believe that you can be deemed innocent no matter your crimes for whatever you've done, how do you format a, a civilization based on a ruling system? Well, like you that? can't. That's you can't. why. Christian yeah. Secular law. That's that. Yeah, right. That's why it has to uh, co-opt. Yeah, even in the, you see that in, even in the Catholic Church because they don't have a Sharia, right? So they have to subsume natural law. Um, you see that in throughout all the papal writings and stuff like that. And it's and that I, I do. I find the having the Sharia is an envious position to have when it's so obvious and clear. It's like, nope, these are the rulings. This is the way to govern that's society. It. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. and, so and it doesn't rule. change. And yeah, change. this is the that's standard. good. That's a good thing. Objective morality. Universal morality is what the mm -hmm. world needs. Yeah, not this knee-jerk reaction. Some politician bringing up a new law because it's getting popular votes. <laughs> yeah, it would have saved a lot of political revolutions. Maybe the French Revolution yes, never would have happened. That would be that would have been glorious. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, right. Let me go back to the reducing again. So okay. we reduce it. To, so there's two parts of the Shahada: Ashhadu mm -hmm. an la ilaha illallah, which basically means there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you agree that Allah is the Creator. Mm -hmm. And you would also agree that that would be the source of supreme guidance and objective morality. Mm -hmm. And there would be no one else to show gratitude and to seek guidance from except for Allah. Agree? Mm -hmm. so, so, you're, so you're halfway to being a Muslim. Uh, the next so. part's a little bit more tricky. <laughs> but it ain't that more tricky. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. Okay. So the next part of the Shahada is Ashadu Anna Muhammad Rasulullah. That Muhammad is a messenger of Allah. Not yeah. the only messenger of Allah, mm -hmm. he's a messenger of Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll break this down and reduce this a little bit for you. So 1,400 years ago, there was a claim made in Arabia, in the city of Mecca, mm -hmm. that a man was in a cave mm -hmm. and an angel came to him mm -hmm. and told him he was to be a messenger to mankind. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to take my Muslim hat off now. You're going to take your... Or your, or your, or your kufi, yeah. <laughs> what? And we're going to do the same 
Okay, exercise with yeah. this claim as we mm -hmm. did with I and the Father are one. All right. Okay. All right. Sure. Similar, similar. So what we're going to do now is what could explain this phenomena? What could be the explanations? What could be the hypotheses that could um, explain the claim made in a desert 1,400 years ago? What mm -hmm. could be the hypotheses that we could say was the, what could have happened? Um, it could have been hallucination. It could yep. have been. So, let, let's just stop a second. So hall okay. hallucination, we we, we could probably tie in with delusional sure uh, yeah. a, a, a problematic mental, mental state of some kind yeah yeah some of kind of uh delusion all right sure okay. yeah so there was no angel mm -hmm. he thought he saw an angel sure. thought he heard an angel mm -hmm. but it was all in his mind yeah and he yeah. moved on that okay right. all right well that's option number one mm -hmm. give me another option uh it would be um some type of evil like demonic evil spirit kind of a thing this is the christian claim some of the Christians, yeah, but yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's only Christians who make this claim. Oh, really? <laughs> Atheists will make this claim because they don't. No, no, food. no. I just meant certain, certain, certain Christians think that, and then certain Christians don't as well. Don't hold to that. They they, they think other things, but yeah, I understand. Yeah. No, no, no. But they, they, I'll be honest with you. If you speak to a Christian, they all think that it's a time, and you explain what happened in the cave. Yeah, they'll say uh, Satan became an angel of light and deceiver and this that oh, okay. and tricked That's him. That's the, the normative the position that you heard. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So we've got option number two, uh, demonic influence. Mm -hmm. What's option number three? I'll make it easy for you. Option number three is the atheist claim. Uh, that it's all historical fabrication that, yeah. It was a lie. Yeah, it's all a lie. It's all a lie. There's no such thing as angels. So he sure. couldn't have saw an angel. Yeah. So he must have pretended that he saw an angel. For personal gain and he or whatever. he invented the whole scenario yeah. to invent a religion. Yeah, sure. For personal gain, to to put himself into a higher status in civilization, in society, and stuff like that, and justify whatever. Hey, just give me one second just to share that. That's oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No, look, random Jared Paradise. Yeah. Someone just put super chat saying some nine Palestinians. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. Okay, and then the fourth option uh, would probably be the Muslim claim, which is that he said exactly what he was saying. Yeah. Okay. He, he, everything that he said was true, and he he is who he claims to be. Right. Yeah. So one of them has to be true. Agreed. Which one? That is the conundrum. Not for you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm wearing my Muslim hats off at the moment. Let's just. Okay. Uh, Which one? We, 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 I, look, I'm not going to get offended if you say, oh, no, I believe he was lying or I believe it was Satan or I believe. Yeah. Was, I just don't. I don't hold a firm position on it right now. Like I yeah. said, I'm, I'm here to learn. Oh, so. the, the, the key thing is, though, you see, if he was crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then he mm -hmm. wasn't lying and he wasn't deceived. Yeah, uh, it's unintentional. Okay. It's not malicious. Yes. Right. If he, if he was lying, then he's not delusional and he's not deceived. Yeah. Right. Of course. No, yeah. it has to be one. It can't be. It has it to can't be, be two. Yeah. But yeah. So when you when you look at these four options, and this is this is what I'm going to reduce it to. I'm not going to go into detail right now. Of course, I understand. But what I've done for you now is to focus you. Okay. Because what you need to do now is look mm -hmm. at these four claims. What you can do as well, you can look at a bit of his lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You can look at what people said about him, his enemies said about him, look yeah. what non-Muslim historians say, and all these kind of things. <clears throat> and then you can answer the questions for yourself. Do I believe a crazy man would be capable of doing this over 23 years? Yeah. Keeping up a charade for 23 mm -hmm. years? It's a long time. And, and, and you know, so on, on why that's not true. Mm -hmm. Then you can look at the satanic claim, which is just dismissed so easily. Yeah. Because first thing, according to the New Testament, Satan can't oppose himself. So mm -hmm. if the Quran opposes Satan, Satan can't be its author. Which is pretty clear. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty, pretty. No, but I don't, forget I've that. Never, forget I've the never, idea I've that. Never, um, yeah. Yeah. But forget that idea. Even just the idea that Satan would come to pagan Arabs, tell them to stop worshiping those statues and to worship the God of Abraham. <laughs> Him and Seems to stop like doing a... all the debaucherous things and do good things. And catch yeah. Them. Yeah, why? 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 Satan's more likely to yeah. catch somebody on the road to Damascus, right? Mm -hmm. Than he is to sure. go to pagan Arabs to get them. Do you know sure. what I mean? Because mm -hmm. Muhammad is going to pagan Arabs to get them to worship God. Mm -hmm. Paul is going to Jews telling them no need to do what God said anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you want to look for someone influencing somebody on a road to wherever, Mm -hmm. then I think there's other places you can look. Okay. Gotcha. Sure, of course. But I'm not going to go definitive on it. I, I, you can investigate it for yourself. Okay. The the lying claim, 
the lying claim is based upon two, there's two factors to the lie. First thing, motive for the lie. Why yeah. would he invent this? Why would he go from being the honest, the trusted one for 40 years, all of a sudden start lying mm -hmm. when he was not his character, first thing. Second, what would have been his reasons for doing so? Yeah. And then second thing is, could he have fulfilled the did he have the capacity to fulfill the lie he's accused of? Mm -hmm. So could he be the author of the Quran? Well, we know he was illiterate because the Quran says he's illiterate. And if he wasn't illiterate, the people will say, but well, you're not illiterate. Yeah. <laughs> so we, he must right. have been illiterate for the Quran to say so. Um, and then to come with the most um, profound linguistic uh, text from an illiterate man. Yeah. And even his enemies, when they asked, they sent poets to listen to it to say, where's he getting this information from? Yeah. And they came back and said it's sorcery. Now, why yeah, would yeah. poets go and listen to the Quran and come back and think it's supernatural? Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. something profound about it. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And then it's the content. He would have had to memorize the oral traditions of the Jews, the apocryphal books of the Christians, the Old Testament, New Testament, hash it mm -hmm. all together, regurgitate it over a 23 year period. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, let's forget the fact that the Old Testament in Arabic didn't arrive until the 10th century, which was mm -hmm. like 400 years after he died. Mm -hmm. So forget that. Just mm -hmm. so not even to have the capacity to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. And we know if you look at his life, there was the times where, for example, he could have took advantage of certain phenomena to make the to, to to cement the claim so his baby boy died and uh, there was an eclipse and the people were saying oh look the moon's recognizing his son's died and, and, and he said this has nothing to do with my baby you yeah. know mm -hmm. this is just a natural phenomenon now a charlatan would say you see you see i am the mess you, you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah you, i get you. Would take every re take every little thing that he could yeah to add take on. advantage of every situation yeah, yeah so yeah. when you look at everything Mm -hmm. But I don't want you to make a decision right now. But oh, I'd love you to. I'd love you to go away and do this. Now I'm planning to write a book on this. This particular so, point. Oh wow, that's awesome! Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, when I speak to people now about Islam, everything gets reduced to this for me. Because yeah, once yeah. you believe Allah is the only one worthy of worship, and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is who He claimed to be, mm -hmm. everything else just goes. Just kind of falls into place. Yeah. Everything. I, I'm, I'm, and once Islam is true, Christianity is false by default. Hinduism is false by default. Everything else is false by default. Yeah, because we've already established the ultimate truth. If this is the truth, then everything else is a lie. Mm. I'm also planning to write a book about Paul as well, though. So get ready for that. <laughs> yeah. Because you know what you said about Paul. See, mm. when, when you read about Paul, it's it, it's in this letter, that letter, Acts mm. here, there. What mm. I plan to do is do chronology. Mm. Use the chronology of the New Testament, mm -hmm. in a plus works of the Ebionites and other other people mm -hmm. to build the picture. Gotcha, yeah? gotcha. and then. I plan to um, create a kind of Netflix style dramatization mm -hmm. of the book. So mm -hmm. do the book, screenplay it, and then create. So no one's going to be in any dispute now. There's going to be wow. no one's going to be unaware of certain things because Christians are going to be scratching their heads. Why are you taking the Nazarite vow? <laughs> but what just happened? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is another plan of mine. But the Muhammad book is first. Okay, cool. So, so I really well, like I uh, think, Martin Ling's is, uh, biography of Muhammad. Yeah. I, I have that. That was a good one. Yeah. So, so from that. Martin Ling's biography, you can you can ascertain some certain things and facts about the Prophet Muhammad. It seems, and, yeah, I mean, it seemed like to have an outstanding character. Or seemed to be. And then once you have that, and you can apply it then to the claims. To yeah. See, well, well um, this doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm working through uh, the Forbidden Prophecies by Abu Zechariah. Abu Zechariah, yeah, mashallah. Yeah, Zechariah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, so I'm working. I'm working through that right now. Well, um, I've just reduced you though. I've okay. just reduced. You, remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm short circuiting you because I'll explain something to you. Wolf. I'm freaking out. I'm, I'm tingling everywhere. You you're gonna spend the rest of your life learning about Islam. Yeah, it ain't gonna stop once you take shahada. Yeah. It's gonna begin. It's gonna begin. Mm -hmm. But what happens, you see, is when you read about Islam, not mm -hmm. as a Muslim, mm -hmm. it's all theory. Yeah, they believe that. They believe this. Yeah. When, when you read the Quran, Allah's talking to them. Yeah. kind of thing. Mm. Whereas when you take Shahada and you learn about Islam and you read the Quran, mm. it's now talking to you. Mm, okay, You're a part of it. Get so you. I always say to people, just... You're the main character in the story, you know. Yeah. So what I'd like you to do, because like I said, I don't want to put too much on you, but just reflect on what I've said with regards to the test. Okay. Lying, crazy, deceived. And just each day, just, all right, let's look at the crazy one. Yeah. What would I expect? And such and such and such. Yeah. Getcha. Yeah. I, I, but unfortunately, my book is not ready yet. <laughs> Dang it. Could have sent me a copy for free. No, I'm kidding. I, I, I would do. I would do. No, because when I do this book about Muhammad, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's a game changer for everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Because it helps Muslims understand why they why Islam is true. 
yeah. it helps non-Muslims understand why Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Mm -hmm. And even ex-Muslims who come to me and say, oh, I used to be a Muslim. Okay, yeah. okay, fine. So you believe yeah. Muhammad was lying crazy on the scene. The, the apostate prophet kind of guys. Yeah, well, no, forget him. Forget yeah, him. it's brutal. Know. Yeah, I can't stand that kind of stuff, dude. It's so yeah. bad. Well, the point, the point as I'm making is that when they come to me as an ex-Muslim, I'm just going to ask them, so you believe the Prophet was crazy, lying, or deceived? Yeah, yeah. Because you don't believe he's telling the truth, so which one do you believe he was? And why? Mm -hmm. this, it's just, it's just going to be a complete no, a game changer. Mm -hmm. So that's the book I plan to write. I, can't, I wish I had it and give, give it to you. There is something by Ayira similar. Uh, oh, okay. But nothing's going to do the job mine's going to do. <laughs> but if, um, I'll tell you what it. to do. I'll, I'll tell you what it. to do. Yeah. Can you email me? Yeah. I'll put my email up, right? Okay. And um, oh, it must be Instagram. One second. In the little uh, private chat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. right. So that's my email. Okay. If you send me an email, um, and I will get you a book on this. Okay. Inshallah. Right. And I reckon you're going to make a fantastic Muslim, man, because of uh, your integrity. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. No, I, I always, I've been on these, like I said, these other Dawah streams and stuff like that. And I just, I'm, I'm, I'm sincere, sincerely. I'm not here to, like I said, to be in bad No, 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 no. Listen, I would have seen. Yes, I, can, I cannot say. Yeah. Oh, you've dealt with it enough. Uh, it, and it's just, it's yeah. I I I, can't, I just can't stand it. I watch it online, and it, this vitriol is just is awful. It's funny because I've experienced this as well. Just for being on the streams, just for talking to Muslims sincerely, I have gotten so much hate from Christians. Only like <laughs> they're like, you don't know what the Trinity is. You don't know what this person said. You don't know what this church father said. I'm like. I don't understand. But the, the, the point is this: like, they're so pissed off. Like, when, when I deal with Christians, I when I yeah. deal with Christians, mm -hmm. I just unravel them. Yeah. Just keep asking them, "Why do you believe this? Why do you believe that? Why do you believe that?" You yeah. know what? Like, I give you one last example of Christianity that makes no sense to me. Okay. How can God be merciful when He got paid? <laughs> what's, what's the forgiveness? Like you saying, like if the debt, if if He still required the debt payment, is the no, 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 no. If Jesus is the one mm -hmm. that died for the sins of the world, mm -hmm. that's the blood. Correct. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. That means God got paid. Yeah, right. That's what I mean, is the debt had been collected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, who, yeah. Who, um, so the question is this who was the ransom work? paid to? Yeah. Who got paid the ransom? Yeah. And um, because you're, you're aware of like it used to be, they used to say it was the ransom was paid to Satan, right? That was an yeah. early Christian position. I can't make any of Well, God has to pay ransom to Satan. What? <laughs> yeah. They used ran he then, ransomed us from hell. But where's the forgiveness? Yeah. I don't even see any forgiveness. I, I, you know, I, it's the funny. Idea it's, that it's, this it's funny that makes that's actually, justice is like. Yeah, no, it's funny because that's to me is actually more tenable than the penal substitutionary theory, even though I don't think that it's more realistic. It's. It's more. It's at least somewhat more moral than punishing an in innocent man for the crimes of the wicked. You know, like I said, just imagine a society doing that. Like, imagine that we would take pure people and be like, and, and if they were like, I'm willing to die for these murderers, and it, who would go? Ah, this is justice. You know, I, I, as a traditionalist, I don't, I do not understand that why anybody would say that. So yeah, and, and that's what, a beautiful thing. And that's a beautiful what, thing about Islam. Yeah, it's just simple. It's just straightforward. Simple, but also an ocean. Yeah, like there's a... So, so oh, there's yeah, yeah. No, undoubtedly. Yeah. But by, by simple, I mean this. Yeah. God created us mm -hmm. weak. Yeah. God did not create us perfect. There was mm -hmm. no fall from a perfect position to a imperfect position. We were created weak because man couldn't sin if he was created perfect. So he was sure. created weak. And we know in Islam, Allah says this, that mm -hmm. if this creation of mine didn't sin, I would wipe it off the face of the earth and I would replace it with a creation that did. Now, imagine that. Why? It says that in the Quran? I, 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 think, it's, I think it is. Okay, okay. No, I, okay. I, was, I was genuinely asking. I wasn't yeah, trying yeah, to... Yeah, 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 no. I, I, I mean, I've quoted it enough times. I should really okay. know where I'm getting okay. it from. <laughs> okay. But the, well, the point I'm making... I, yeah. It's in the Quran because... Okay, I'm sure okay. And like I said, it wasn't a gotcha. I read the Quran genuinely in Ramadan asking. in English twice, yeah. Oh, gotcha. But, um, so the, the thing is this. Someone in the chat will know. Yeah. But what it is, is Allah loves repentance. You yeah. know why? Because repentance is evidence that you recognize God's existence and yeah. God's power and God's mercy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what repentance is required. Sure. The fall, in the in Garden of Eden, you know, the idea of the fall. Of course. For Muslims, this is not sin entering the world. Yeah. This is repentance entering the world. Yeah, yeah. The turn, yeah, right. Yeah, Turning this is what we believe. Ways. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. and then the Quran says that now you must leave this place and make your dwelling on the earth. 
you know, the, the, the whole Christian idea is that man spoiled God's plan. Like, what? Kind of in a way. How would yeah. you spoil the plan of the old Noah? <laughs> Dang you know, it. You, you read the Bible, God's regretting doing things. Now I got to save you guys from the plan you guys ruined of my own. I got to do this. Yeah. Whole how, how can God regret when okay. regret is you would do something different if you knew the outcome? Sure. sure God sure. is all knowing. So how does sure. So it, it just collapses in every, every place. But Islam is so pure, so okay. easy, so simple, but yet an ocean. Gotcha. Yeah, I was I was recommended a, another one by um uh another another brother that uh, uh he said that he recommended a um a sea without a shore is that what it's called by uh by oh, sorry say again by, it's called a sea without a shore I think it's by a last last name Keller I can't remember his first name is like Nahu him Keller or something like that I always mispronounce his name I feel like an idiot every time I say it but it's called like a sea okay. without a shore it's a really spiritual text he said if you're into that because I got recommended like like I said the forbidden prophecies um I already read I had already read the Muhammad biography from Martin Ling's a long time ago yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. now I got these and by the way that copy of the Quran the clear one that's a good translation you would say yes okay okay cool because I was recommended that one as well I just wanted to get your your idea on that but oh, yeah okay the, so someone just corrected me in the chat sorry <laughs> Okay. So it's not in the Quran, <clears throat> but this is the hadith. Oh, and I'm thankful that you got through COVID. All right, brother. That's oh thank yeah, you. thank goodness, that. man. I ju I just got over it a little uh, about two weeks ago myself. So, well, but the worst part for me was I couldn't sleep. Oh, dude, me and I, uh, yeah. And the next day I was so fatigued, mm -hmm. and then I couldn't eat, and then I was so weak. And yeah, then I couldn't sleep again. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah, I'm really. And then you cough in, and the cough is inducing <clears throat> a vomit that there's nothing to vomit. right. Yep. Yeah. It was it was disgusting. Yeah, my youngest. Let me daughter. just read this for you. Let me just read this for you. Good. So this is a hadith. Uh, Abu Harir reported that Allah's messenger, the male of the peace pen, having said, By him in whose hand is my life, if you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence and he would replace you by those people who would commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah, and he would have pardoned them. Mm -hmm. So um yeah sorry it is a hadith thank you chat are always cool man no worries always, yeah uh, like i said it was, wasn't a gotcha i just was genuinely curious yeah no 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 it sounded no. like a beautiful sentiment so um yeah yeah no 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 like i say i've 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 used it enough time so i really should know its source because <laughs> yeah. i think you it's key latch on to those things you know I, I think it's key because such a big deal is made in christianity about sin and oh, in yeah. islam sin is just mistakes disobedience well, that's what it means in the in the uh in the um the hebrew it means a uh, hamartia means to miss the mark yeah that, that's what that's what it translates to it's not like yeah. this it's not like this a great super egregious thing it's like that your your kind of aim is true but you kind of fall into misdirection yeah. or something. i mean and how does a baby miss the mark <laughs> yeah don't don't know don't Told know. you christianity makes no sense to me whatsoever you know people yeah. say to me you be a christian i'm like i've never been a christian but, yeah you could never be an atheist no, right. never become a christian right um do you i was gonna ask you if i may do i have more time or do i gotta you got another guest coming on uh no problem. i was just gonna ask you one thing about um so we kind of brought up uh the the jewish belief about uh, muhammad being a prof being a prophet and stuff like that and that was really cool and worshiping the same god that's really that's really cool information do you have any concept of what the the holy spirit is said to be like because the uh the Jews do have like a concept of something akin to the Holy Spirit, just like how Islam has a concept of what they believe that is talked about as the Holy Spirit, which is, of yeah. course, Gabriel. So we call it Ruhul Qudus. Um, mm -hmm. We believe it's referring to Angel Jibreel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So do you we do don't you believe it's a co-equal? Yeah, or... yeah. Co-eternal manifestation yeah. of the Trinity yeah, yeah. God. Right. Um, do you do you know about what the Jewish position is on what that is talking about? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm just starting to kind of open up that information. So I just was wondering if you had any experience. Well, it's quite funny though in the in the Christian, in, you know, in the in the New Testament, mm -hmm. when, when when I think it's when Peter has the vision and then he goes to eat with the Gentiles or whatever, mm. and uh, the Holy Spirit there is an angel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you, the Holy Spirit came to them, and then uh, they say like an angel, angel, of, angel of the Lord or something. Yeah. yeah, that's always the they, they call it the. Um, what are they not the epiphanies but the, yeah that's the always the god's manifestation whenever he appears like in physical form like yeah he appear, if they talk about the, the burning bush or they talk about the angel of the lord that appears in the old testament um and yeah there's a specific word for it it's not a, it, but the way they call him the holy spirit mm -hmm. and then yeah in it, 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 another way he's referred to as angel which yeah. is kind of what we believe sure 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 i get so you the holy spirit 
like yeah. I said, we don't believe in this this equal equal yeah. spirit of God that's doing stuff. It's it's funny because my buddy um, who I grew up with, he kind of just came to the same conclusion just on his own. His father was a very committed Christian and they read the Bible almost every day. And he kind of walked away from it just basically just de facto. He's like, the Holy Spirit isn't like a thing. He's like, I I never, well, it you, doesn't seem to be a thing. He just said, I, I just asked him about that the other day because I'm doing all this investigation. And I was like, yeah, what do you think about like the Holy Spirit? Because it does seem like there's a lot of emphasis on God and Christ, you know, and their relationship, there's a ton of, a ton of it. And then, then as soon as you're like, well, what about the Holy spirit? Cause it's obviously a very important part of the Trinity. Right. And then it's, but it's like almost silence. There's not a lot. It doesn't of, do a job. No, there's, there's it doesn't, doesn't do a job. It's supposed you know. to be correcting and guiding and stuff. Yeah. It's not doing so, so you're right. it's not doing its job. There's a lot of disagreement in the early, uh, the early time of the Christians. If, well, that's uh, why they needed the Council of Nicaea to to make, to to, to uh, iron things out because you had so many conflicting schools of thought. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't do it doesn't do anything. And it keeps kept happening. I did I did a stream right. I did a stream because you know the big thing in Christianity is don't you know you can do any blasphemy but don't blaspheme the Holy Spirit. That's now it. for me that's a setup. Yeah, <laughs> you, just, so you, you can't don't question talk it. About the weakest link, don't talk about it. Yeah, the weakest link. You know, yeah, let's talk about that. You know, let's talk about that. I did a stream right. Yeah. With for eight hours with Christian after Christian after Christian, mm -hmm. and my whole position was, Holy Spirit don't exist. Yeah. Oh, it was absolute joy. It just triggered. Because it was just, just triggered. Where does I said, Where is the Holy Spirit? Then show me it. Show yeah, me yeah. it correcting the gospel writers. Yeah. Show me it. Show it just, me it doing something. Yeah. Correcting the disciples and Paul and just yeah. do something. Yeah, it's funny because when I see actually people that really acknowledge the Holy Spirit, like I see like certain Christian apologists, like when they really are trying to affirm like Trinitarian beliefs, just even their prayers seem like extremely overly complex. Like I watch like you, you, I'm sure you know the the bad names, you know, like David Wood and Sam Shamoon and those those clowns. But like the, the, when they, even when they pray, they try to like be very Trinitarian in their prayers. And I'm like, that seems like a ridiculous amount of things that you have to just recite just to even invoke. God, you know it's what I mean? Just it's, it seems silly. I, it, 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 it just, and then, and then you've got gut, the you get that gut talking reaction. in tongues. Like, oh, that's obviously that, that meant other languages. That didn't exactly. That, it's very clear. I don't understand well, why. It. Anybody, it just was, the people of the the people of the world were very astounded. clear. It's they talking about speaking story. another language. Yeah, it, very obvious. It's, it's got nothing to do with shlaba shlaba shlaba. M Night Shamalama Ling Long, yeah, yeah, man. Bad, man. Oh, uh, anyway, no, um, brother, I appreciate it. I'll email you. Um, I won't take. Yeah, please email time. me. I'm gonna get you a, a book to help with that investigation. Because trust cool. me, once you reduce it to that, mm -hmm. it's a very simple process. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me on, man. I, I hope you talk to you. Your take care, Wolf. All right, brother. Bye. Uh, and it's like somebody else said in the chat. I can speak nicely with Christians. Even though he agreed that Christianity is not true. He wasn't really a Christian. He's just on his journey. Which is fine. That was a lovely conversation. Enjoyed that.